Better health is on the way for students at USF. Today, the university started work on a new student wellness center. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glaser has a preview of what's to come and why this project is so important. At USF, a celebration as the school breaks ground on a brand new 47,000 square foot student wellness center. We'll offer greatly enhanced services to support the physical, mental, and emotional health of today's students. The school, they say, has simply outgrown its existing health services building, which first opened in 1980. The new facility will be four times larger than the current center. Encouraging healthy living, healthy eating, healthy bodies, and of course, healthy minds. After this year, we know how important all those are. When completed, the new Student Wellness Center will provide general, even urgent medical care. Services like sexual health and gynecology, physical therapy, dermatology, immunizations, even psychiatry and behavioral health. It really shows that USF cares about its students and cares about like the mental, he uh, mental health. Parents and prospective students touring USF today said the idea of having that kind of resource on campus can be an important factor in their decision making. And especially in the light of what these incoming freshmen have been through the last couple of years, to have mental health resources and health and wellness, I think is going to be really important to incoming students. It's kind of scary moving out of like moving out of the home, so it's pretty nice to have that here. The cost of the project is estimated at $27.4 million, but it's fully funded by the Capital Improvement Trust Fund. That's a fee that the university started charging students back in 2015. The new USF Wellness Center is scheduled to open in the fall of 2022. Good to see they're having a focus there on mental health for their students. And the new building will also be home to USF's student health services, business operations, and case managers as well. Now, if you're not a student, here is where you can turn if you do need some help. The Department of Children and Families Program Office is a great resource for programs and services. The Florida Department of Health's behavioral health sector that specializes in mental health needs before, during, and after a disaster. You can also find the closest mental health facility using the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's location tool. Governor Ron DeSantis just recently approved state budget that allotted $137.6 million in funds for community-based services, including an expansion of the state's 211 crisis network.